fine. Now we have some special cases also. We'll be taking up some kind of special cases which are concerned with exponential functions. So here we use a special kind of a formula and see how we can apply it. Yes? Now here we are using the formula that e raised to x into f of x plus f dash x dx is e raised to x f of x plus x. For example, suppose you have e raised to x into log x plus 1 by x dx. So here if you see the second function is the integral of, is the differential of the first. So it's nothing but e raised to x into the first function log x plus c itself. This can be obtained by substitution process or ultimately it like this. Or this is valid only for e raised to x. Suppose it is e raised to x into 2x square plus 3x plus 5 plus 4x plus 3 this whole thing dx. It's nothing but e raised to x into, since this is the differential of the first, into 2x square plus 3x plus 5 itself plus k of course. So hence you get it this way. So whenever we have it's a standard formula that's integral of e raised to x into the product of sum of a function and the differential of the same function is nothing but e raised to x into the first function that is f of x. So let's take up some examples based on this. For example, here you have e raised to x into x cube plus 3x square. If you see, this is nothing but f of x and this is nothing but f dash x. So eventually it's going to be e raised to x into f of x plus c, which is going to be in this case e raised to x into x cube plus c. Same way here, this is f of x, this is f dash x, so this will be eventually e raised to x into f of x, which is nothing but x square plus c. This one we already did, it's nothing but e raised to x into log x plus c. Similarly here, this is 1 by x. So remember, we are talking about the integral. Now d by dx of 1 by x square is nothing but minus 1 by x square because it is x raised to minus 1. So it's minus 1 into x raised to minus 1 minus 1. So it's eventually that. So it's eventually e raised to x into 1 by x. That is upon x plus c. Okay. What do we have further? Yes, again, it's the same thing. It's going to be e raised to x into 1 by x. Now, here we should not mix up. It's actually the same thing. Just because this function is written first, it doesn't mean that this is the function and this is the derivative. It's eventually, this is also going to be e raised to x into log x plus c, not 1 by x. Same way here, you have 1 by x square. So, it's going to be the derivative of 1 by x square. So, this is f of x and this is f dash x. We take 1 by x squared, x raised to minus 2 it is. So d by dx of x raised to minus 2 is nothing but minus 2 into x raised to minus 3 that is minus 2 upon x cube. So it's eventually e raised to x into 1 by x squared that is e raised to x upon x squared plus a constant. So thus we get this. Okay. <coughs> Let's take this example. You have, hmm, let's copy this, it's e raised to x upon, so you can take this common outside, 1 upon 1 plus x cube minus 1 plus, uh, sorry, 1 upon 2 into 1 plus x square dx. So we can write this as e raised to x. We can take it in minus half common. So it's become minus half and you get over here minus half. So it will eventually become minus 2 1 plus x the whole cube plus 1 upon 1 plus 
x the whole square dx. So it's eventually minus half into e raised to x into 1 upon 1 plus x square minus 2 upon 1 plus x cube dx. Now if you look at this, 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 this is f of x and this is f dash x. So it's eventually in the format e raised to x into f of x plus f dash x. So eventually it is minus half e raised to x into f of x that is upon 1 plus x the whole square plus c. Hence it's minus, you can write it up in this way, minus e raised to x upon 2 into 1 plus x square the whole square plus c. So it's going to be option number C. You have to be careful about the sign taken. Why do we take minus half outside and why not half? Because we want minus in the f dash x part. Hence we get it. So it's option number C. Okay.